Hi, I'm Denise Landis with The Cook's Cook, and I have just discovered Freeling Black Cube Cookware. These are definitely the prettiest nonstick pans, probably, that you'll ever see. And what's really great about them is you can use metal utensils in them. Ratatouille is a very easy dish to assemble. First, I spread out my tomato red pepper puree in the bottom of this nonstick pan. And then I'm going to take thinly sliced eggplant slices. And there are different ways of assembling this, but this is how I'm going to do it. I'm going to start with a ring of the eggplant all the way around the outside edge, just like that. It looks like it takes a long time to do, but it really is assembled very quickly. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is put a little onion in. And that doesn't have to be terribly neat. I'm just going to spread that out just a little bit to get that onion flavor throughout. And now I'm going to put rings of thinly sliced zucchini and summer squash, and I'm going to alternate them like that. Actually, I'm going to intersperse them with a slice of tomato occasionally. You can really do this in any order that you like. I'm going to do a few more slices of eggplant in there, and now more zucchini and summer squash and tomato. Now you can really get creative, do this however you like. They really don't have to be in any particular order. And I am going to put some eggplant in near the bottom as well. I've made here a ratatouille with a beautiful tomato pepper sauce topped with thinly sliced vegetables. I'm going to bake that and then top it with another sauce. I'm going to be able to use this beautiful metal utensil in the pan. One thing that I really like about these pans are the lids, and they are very unusual. You'll see that this lid has a silicone edge, and it's great because it makes a really nice tight seal, and it has a feature that I think is really fantastic, and that is a vent. So instead of having to set the lid ajar if you want to vent what's in the pan, all you need to do is turn this and it very easily vents the lid. I think that's really a fantastic feature. The pans come in a nice range of sizes. A large 12 and a half inch skillet. This beautiful straight sided saute pan with this wonderful lid. And very useful sizes of the skillets. I've made this beautiful ratatouille that I'm going to put in the oven, and the pans are heat proof to 260 degrees Celsius, that's 500 degrees Fahrenheit. Our ratatouille is ready to be served. We cooked it in this skillet because we wanted to have the round shape for the ratatouille. We wanted it in a non-stick pan so it will release easily from the pan, and we want it to be in a heat proof pan, and so that's why we've got this great heat proof skillet that we're using. I took it out of the oven and then I topped it with a sprinkling of a puree of fresh basil, fresh garlic, and a good quality olive oil seasoned with salt. And now we're ready to serve it. Unlike most nonstick pans, this pan allows us to use metal utensils. So I can use a knife to cut the ratatouille directly in the pan, and I can use a metal turner to serve it. It smells fantastic. Ratatouille has nice fresh flavors that will be perfect for a brunch, lunch, or first course in a dinner party. It was very easy to make the ratatouille in this beautiful pan. It's so nice that it's non-stick, that you can use metal utensils in it, and that can go in the oven. And another thing that is really great is that the lid to the saute pan fits nicely on here. So instead of having to cover with foil when I baked it, I was just able to put the lid on and, again, what's so wonderful about these lids is that you can vent the lid just by turning a dial. One of the great things about black cube pans is that they can be used on induction burners, and that can't be said of many non-stick pans. Frilling black cube non-stick pans would make a terrific addition to anybody's kitchen. I highly recommend them.